Joe Lepidari. Uh, as I mentioned before in my last short video, that I'm going to show you how to build your own um, polishing machine. It's very simple, it's very easy, uh, but uh, you might need to have a lathe or somebody uh, that can machine a few parts for you. So I'm going to show you everything and actually at the end I'm going to give you some uh, drawings. And you can see here. I'm going to give you some drawings that you could uh, copy or take uh, a, a shot like a, a picture shot or a screenshot and you could use it later on. Uh, so this is the uh, machine assembled that I showed you but I have another one here that I took apart so I can show you all the bits and pieces that goes into it and then how you're going to build them and how you're going to fit them together so let's start uh, with the with the box this is the the box that uh, that I built to put the machine on top here and it's basically um, a wooden frame that I put together with building these legs here and uh, the wood itself it's about 8 inches by 1 the legs are made out of two pieces uh, screwed together and this is uh, 4 inch by 1 inch Buy and then you cut them and you put them together and the way they're okay the way they are you have this is one piece here this is the other one on this side two screws to hold these two together and then one screw here and one screw there to hold the leg in the corner so when you put them in make sure that they are all lined up or the same height level um, then I'm going to show you from the inside of that box. Now, this one here, it's um, see it like this here. It's a melamine board that you could buy these uh, from the hardware stores for shelving. They sell them for shelvings, and um, you can buy uh, like four feet length. And usually they come in like twelve. Uh, inches wide. So this one here, uh, I think it was 12, and I cut it down to 11 and a quarter. So what I did is I put a recess in the frame itself, uh, so this would fit flush. And the idea of having the uh, melamine top, which is similar to the countertop, so any water or any dirt that comes here, it would just um, it's it's. You can wipe it off very, very easy after that. Now, um, as you could see here, there is a, a box where all the wiring goes inside, right there. And it, this box here, you could also buy from a hardware store, a hard, hard, hardware store that they have all the electricals. So, um, this particular one, they have, I think, th three opening in line. One here, one here, one there. And what I'm saying, opening, is you could actually open with a screwdriver to get it out. I opened this one here. This is a switch with the light on. You just fit it in and it screws right on one of the opening. The other opening at the bottom, I had my wires coming out from here. So what I did is I drilled the hole same size as the wire and I just pulled it right out from here and all the connection with with the switch I'm going to be down a little bit here so, okay so like I said three opening the one at the bottom I drilled the hole to fit the wire in and then it's all connected inside the the board on the top is um, there is a hole in the center and uh, a few holes here and I'm going to show you why I'm using that. Uh, once I start fitting everything together and I explain it to you. Down here is the motor 
as you can see uh, the motor here is mounted on an angle iron uh, aluminum angle iron now the motor is a small motor so you don't need a large motor to do that uh, what I did is I we like I have some uh, uh, old machines that we use like in the kitchen a blender or whatever that they have these motors I don't throw them away um, so I keep the motors so I can use them for things like that so this one here it's a small motor I don't even remember where I got it from or what machine uh, or blender that I, I had it from but it's one of the one that I had and based on that you mount it here so you got to make sure like the level where you're gonna fit it in uh, in relationship to uh, your main shaft down here and I'm gonna get into that uh, in a little bit so this is the main box as you could see and then the main the top of it it comes in this salad bowl salad bowl is about 12 inches uh, in diameter and I have a cutout that in the bottom it's uh, uh, that would fit all the system inside now when it goes on top uh, here when it goes on top now it's got to be mounted here my biggest thing was how can I keep any water from going through there and what I found is I can use the these are used for the sink so these here will go in your kitchen sink and they have these rubber washers that actually eliminate any water from going through and this one goes this way and everything is just lock it and tighten it together and I'm going to show you that when I assemble the whole thing how everything will fit so this is very important you can get it also again from a hardware store okay um, they, they get some of the steel one you don't need steel uh, this is plastic and is good enough so this is the other part that goes inside now on on the top okay well let's let's go first on the main main part let me take these out here so okay we got this one here this here is the main part that you're gonna need it's a shaft that rotates but that shaft is going to be made uh, on a lathe so if you have a lathe you could do it if not uh, find somebody that who had a lathe or a machine uh, machine shop that they could do it for you and what I did is I have the drawing here that will show you how it is uh, the dimensions uh, there's few things that you have to wash when when you start building them uh, that based on the motor that you have and the distance that's going to be fitted here it also will determine how long uh, this shaft is going to be okay because this is the one that you're going to put the pulley uh, down here and it has to be the distance between uh, your motor shaft and this one has to be in line so based on that this could be higher or lower but you could adjust that here now what makes it all turned uh, if you look at this one here and you could see that uh, these bearings right here okay so I got this is this is the bearing which I have also a drawing and like I said these drawings I'm gonna uh, show them at the end of my video so you can take a screenshot and and use it so uh, the bearings I'm using these are metric bearings whoops these are metric bearings that I used a couple 
and they will go into this housing. So the drawings will show you how you can fit these bearings. Now, these bearings are metric bearings. So some of the dimension you're going to see, and I noted that in my drawings, that these are made out of uh, uh, the dimensions are metric dimensions. So when you fit them into the housing, now this housing that I did, it was aluminum. You can make it out of steel, but I had aluminum that was available. You know, I did also this. Like, so it was easy for me to use them out of aluminum. Now, this here, it, it has to go and fit into the housing. Uh, it has to be press fit from the outside. So the outside, it has to be press fit in. Okay. And the shaft that going from this bearing and the bottom bearing, it has to be also press fit into the inside of the bearing right here. So when this one turn, everything will turn together. Okay. The bearing make sure you buy the seal bearing because you don't need any water to go in or any dirt to go inside the bearing. So these bearings are uh, sealed bearing and you could see the blue cover on both sides. Okay. Now the dimension of this one here is given on the in the housing uh, down here which is the outside the outside of the bearing is 35 millimeter okay and the inside of the bearing is 15 millimeter so this is 35 and this is 15 millimeter now when you order, if you can get this the same thing, so the drawing is going to be okay. If not, you got to adjust your opening here and the bearings to the right size. Okay, so now this is the shaft that will fit into the, the base. Okay, so it will fit this way. This is the bottom with the bearings. The motor and the pulley are here, turning this one here. On the top, this protrude through the um, the sink coupler, and uh, then it goes through also the uh, salad bowl. The top of that, then I have this adapter, okay, and this adapter also you have a drawing for that, which it's right here okay this adapter um, is also made of aluminum and basically this one is the lap support so it, it will fit right here like so there is a set screw to lock it in position so when it rotates it will rotate with with the shaft and you lock it with the set screw so this one will fit here so this is slight fit on the and it's half inch slight fit with the bushing on top of that you will have the plate support which this one here is plexiglass that uh, quarter inch I had plexiglass that available so I did cut it turn it and it will fit right here so now you have this one. Actually, this you could actually buy them. The disc you can get them from Kingsley North. Kingsley North, they get a different variety that you need. This one is just the foam top that you could use. This here is leather. Uh, you could also use that. And by the way, I put up whatever the what I used kind of material down here. This is Lindy A. And so, anyway, these are the one you could buy, and this is the uh, the top, the support. It's eight inch diameter for your uh, your wheel. Uh, okay, then these are the parts. Then on top of that, then I have the pulleys. Got two pulleys here. One it goes into the shaft. So one is going to be in the shaft here 
and one is going to be in the motor. Now, what I did is the one that goes in the motor because the shaft is only, I believe, is 516 um, or 3, it's something like that. So, uh, I did turn these on the lathe also. So, and the diameters that made one to one. Um, one, one thing is you got to watch is that with the belt, the, 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 to get the short belt, I mean you can get them from the hardware, so you got to adjust your distance to make sure you get the right belt to go in. I use belts uh, that are used for vacuum cleaners and with the vacuum cleaners they're very strong and they will last for a long long time. Uh, to be used. So this is a flat one. They have the round one, whatever. So if you can make these um, uh, wheels or the pulleys, um, you could actually make them based on what kind of uh, belt that you have. Um, if you have to buy the pulleys and this because a smaller shaft, I don't think you're going to get this diameter uh, on the pulley that you're going to buy from the hardware store. So get the one, uh, the size that you have, and make sure you have the bushing to compensate for the diameter size. So you put a bushing inside and you put the shaft in. Uh, this here, then you have to have a set screw on the uh, pulley to lock it in the shaft. So I have a set screw here, you lock it on the shaft and quarter inch set screws uh, which is we drill and tap for that. Okay so these are basically all the parts that we need to build this unit here. Now let's go back to this plate here which I didn't talk about this plate it's I think it's about let me get the uh, vernier here to measure okay so this plate is uh, 516 okay 516 plate that it is bolted right on the shaft housing which is this one, this housing here, okay? So it is bolted to three bolts equally spaced and they're quarter inch bolt. And so this plate is mounted on the housing. And I didn't want to take it apart here because I didn't want to uh, lose position. So you got to make sure that the position is right. What I did here is just to show you what you could do. I had marked, I don't know if you can see it here, but I marked this one, there is two dots here and two dots right there, so I can make sure that this will fit always in the right position. Okay, so I got this one in. Uh, now, this has to fit into the housing that we built. So let's do that now. Okay. As you can see here, I have four clearance holes for these quarter inch bolts and nuts that I'm going to show you how they do fit. So, but before we do that, I'm going to put this one back here and show you something else that down here. Okay, down here there is a clearance that I did the same size thickness, which said 516, of the plate. So when I put this one in like that, it will fit flush right there. Okay, now, however, before you put this one in, you need to put the sink adapter which is this one there so we're going to take a 
take one for the top and one it goes at the bottom here okay so this is the seal that they're gonna seal it so now if I put it here like so okay it's gonna fit right here and then I'll take uh, before I put this one here I can take the plate which is this okay and mount it okay if I put my bolts here just to line up the hole so what I did is when I um, took this plate put it in and copied the clearance holes at the bottom here as you could see so there's a clearance hole in there so if I put two bolts here like that to line up this like so okay so that will, will line it up for me in that position see that okay so the plate will hold also the um, the sink adapter now let me put this one in the back or on the top so I'll put this one first around the threads let me oops, let me get so you can see it here hold on let me do this one better I'm gonna put some uh, some of the nuts down here so it doesn't go away keeps it in position okay also because of the vibration when you're working later on these nuts I don't want them to get loose so um, there's two ways you can do it is you put double nuts now remember these are quarter inch nuts for the screws for the bolt you could have um, double nuts to lock the first one in position and that's not going to come off or come loose or you get one that has they call them lock nuts which they have a rubber inside the nuts it's right inside and this rubber actually when you bolt it or you put it in it will actually hold in position, hold the plane in position and it's not gonna is not gonna uh, release or get loose okay let's put them right now so here. and when you put them usually the rubber is on the outside or on the top so you put the threads first and then the rubbers are comes in afterwards Okay, one more to go, and that will be right in the position. If you if you actually also look, what I did is when I when I drilled the holes on the plate, I, I didn't really care about to get it exactly to dimensions uh, because I just do it very quickly and. And so what I did is I did mark the uh, the plate. If you could look, I don't know if you could see it, but there is a mark right here and a mark on the on the box to show that. So now, just just I don't forget the depth of the cutout here. It has the plate plus the um, the other half of the sink. Okay. So you make sure the dimension is correct, so that will be flush with this one here. Now let me tighten this in position. Okay, I'm going to put it on high speed so you don't have to get bored with me locking all this up. Ok, 
Okay, so now this is already tight in place and it turns okay. I can put the rubber seal goes on top here. So this way I make sure that there is no any water coming down here from the Put it like this, and it's going to lock it in position. Okay, but before I put this one in, I want to put this one the last thing because I need to show you how you can put the bushings and the other pulleys down at the bottom. So I'll go back here and okay, so we're going to make sure that the pulley which is now I can't put the pulley like this it has to be this way to fit okay and then I have to lock it in with the set screw okay to make sure that this is all gonna turn together this here is the other one and the Okay, the belt is going to go here and it's also going to go. This one here has a flat, so I make sure that the set screw is on that flat here. Okay, let's do it this way. Okay, so I'm going to put this one in like that, and the other one is going to be line, lined up with it. So now, if I take my set screw, set screw is right here, okay. and lock it in position. Okay, and this one here, I'll make sure it's in line and this has to be aligned from the inside from the pulley is inside right here but I need to see where the set screw is right there okay set screw is here and line up this one lock it in place okay that's good okay so now if this one the motor turns, this one will turn and the bottom will turn. Okay, so the pulleys are in place. Like I said, you know, the pulley you might need, if you don't have a, a, a lathe to do it at home, you might need to get the machine shop to do it, or you buy the pulley from a hardware store. And uh, the belt, I think you got to make sure that the belt you're going to buy um, makes the distance properly. So you could actually move the motor to any position you want based on what length you can get uh, from the pulley. So uh, also like I said, the small one, if, if depending on the shaft of the motor, if you can't find a pulley that fit that shaft, uh, then you need a bigger pulley, like bigger hole for the pulley and you put a, uh, an adapter. Uh, inside okay connection the wiring connection is going through that hole and like I said it's going through the bottom here and then the light on off this it's a light switch so you could see it if it's on okay now we have this one the four bolts are mounted properly I got this one on this goes to seal around and it's about half an inch wide uh, and so the sealing of it is going to be just perfect let me take this one out also okay so now it's sitting down I'm going to just lock it in position make sure it's tight Here you go. 
Okay, so this is tight. Now, when I put this one in, there is, before there wasn't enough room to go in and, and lock it in position. Now I can put this one in, now I know it's locked. Okay, so the next thing is putting the, the plate. Also half inch, so slight fit, like that. I'm going to put my plate in there, the polishing wheel right here. And what I did is I have this lock knot. This is a quarter inch uh, threaded knob uh, that I use to hold the polishing wheel. So what I did, I have a quarter inch uh, threaded hole right on the shaft and when I lock it in place it's locked in position. Okay, And I have everything here mounted like that. And now this is basically your plate. So you plug it in, on, off, it's going to turn, you do your polishing, and as I said, you could use it also for um, grinding lap. So if you want to use as grinding lap, you're going to be using some um, water in there. So with polishing, you don't use that much water. What I do is I have a spray bottle, I spray the uh, the plate here and uh, I'm using cerium oxide I just you know put it on and it's not enough water that will go in or stay inside and eventually it, it will uh, evaporate but if you're doing grinding here you're going to need to uh, get rid of that water and um, whatever system you have with the water dripping in I got another video where it shows you how to make these drip uh, water drips so you could look at that and uh, you could see but if you're going to do that you need to do I'm going to take this one out just to show you what you need to do but what you need to do now is to make sure that you drill a hole right inside here okay you're going to drill a hole here and you put an adapter hose okay that goes down from the bottom make sure it's away from your motor and anything else so the water you put a hose there and it comes down into the pail so you get rid of all that water that's coming in um, so this is if you want to use it as a grinding grinding uh, plate so otherwise this here for polishing and I use all mine just for polishing I don't need to to grind I got my own grinding machines with the uh, 8 inch wheel so I don't need the flat wheel situation so now here it is and I hope you like it it's simple and like I said, I'm still going to put the, uh, these drawings uh, in and uh, have them lined up so you could actually take a screenshot of these and uh, then you could use them. Make sure that there is the bearings are in metric unless if you're going to buy them in inches uh, that's fine but if you do then the housing 
bidding housing, you gotta adjust the dimension in order to suit the one that you have. Okay, so if you like that, if you like that video and you build your own machines, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, uh, don't forget to subscribe, and uh, if you comment and if you have any question, just let me know. I usually answer all my comments. So have a great uh, day and enjoy uh, your belt. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.